Good morning! So it's funny because last week I was talking about how I faint quite a lot. But I don't actually faint a lot, I just feel faint a lot. And I haven't actually fainted since I was about 10 years old. But I fainted on Saturday. I went to the Globe Theatre to see The Tempest and apparently I couldn't survive standing up for half an hour. So I had to go and die outside. I didn't think I was actually going to faint, but I remember sitting down on the bench and going, I just wanted to put my head down here. And then the next thing I knew I was lying on the bench. I wonder what actually happened. I'm just going to go down this road. So today I'd like to talk to you about some things about me. Some random things that I thought you might be interested in hearing, but you might not be. But we'll see, won't we? Yeah. Number one. I can't solve a Rubik's Cube. I feel like I should be able to solve a Rubik's Cube because I do maths and Rubik's Cubes are maths things, right? Well, two of my brothers can do it, but I can't. Even this morning I found out this trick method to solve it and I couldn't even master that. I'm a failure of a mathematician. Number two. I love music. I love listening to music, I love playing music, I love singing, and I love live music so much. I would be going to a gig every day if I could. I don't want to be mission on you, but it just makes me feel so happy. Number three. I should be a book reader, but I don't read books. I used to just be reading books all the time, and whenever someone asked me what book I was reading, I always have at least one answer. But when I got my laptop last year, I just stopped reading books, basically. So this year I decided, I realised I wasn't reading any books, so I started, I made this list, which I showed in another video of books that I read, so I feel accomplished when I read a book. Actually, I just remembered I am reading a book, which is Scorch Trials, which is the second book of the Maze Runner, which I totally recommend, because they are so intense, and they're gripping. I read half of it in one day on the train journey back from Wales, and I haven't quite got round to finishing it yet. Number four. I am really bad at getting up in the morning. I love sleeping in, but at the same time I hate sleeping in because I really like to have productive days. The only way I feel I can get up in the morning is using this alarm. I put it across the other side of the room and then it goes off really frighteningly. Just listen. Oh my gosh! It doesn't usually break like this. And done. <sighs> number five. I've never broken any arms, I've never broken any legs, I've never actually been to the hospital for myself, apart from when I was born. But I do have a scar that probably will remain with me forever. <laughs> we have laminate flooring, and when I was about eight years old I was walking around with socks on, and then I slipped over, and I landed head first on the floor. And I kind of sort of giggled a little bit, and like, oh, I just fell over on the floor, and I was touched my head, and I was like, oh. Blood? And then I started yelling, ah, ah, blood, blood. And it turned out in that whole floor there was like one piece of Lego on the floor and I had landed on it right there. I don't know if you can see it but there are actually some circles over here. Actually I can see it really well. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see it. There are like three dots, one, two, and up there, three. And so that is something I live with. I actually also have a bump on my head, where I, apparently I just fell over as a baby like so much, I just had a bump on my head. You can tell that there is a bump because my eyebrows make a funny thing when, when I raise them. A funny thing. Number six. I hate cleaning unless the room is really messy. I feel like I'm not doing anything when there's just a couple of things on the floor. The room has to be super messy and then I can do a spring clean and it's wonderful and it's really satisfying at the end when everything's cleaned up. My room is actually just quite messy quite a lot of the time. Number seven. I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You may think you've never heard of that church, but you probably have because we're known as the Mormons. <laughs> and we're awesome! If you want to know more about that, I've got a link below to the Mormon.org page and my profile which you can check out if you like. Thank you ever so much for watching this video today. I'd be really grateful if you would like this video and subscribe and comment for me. I'd like to hear your feedback. And I hope your day is lovely. Thank you.